This is how you can deal with self-doubt. It's important for you to know that you have what it takes to do whatever you want to do. So you should have that confidence in yourself. Get rid of the doubts. I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how you can deal with um, self-doubt. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Um, thank you for your support. So let's get into the video, guys. So the first thing you need to do is to think back on your past achievements. When you just feel like you're not good enough, just try to remember everything, every other thing you've achieved in your life, okay? Everything you've done, no matter how little, you've done something worthwhile. Think back on it. It will help you deal with doubts. It will help you have so much more courage in yourself and so much more confidence in yourself. So that would be my first point. So my second point would be that you should remember your values. Remember the child of whom you are. Remember where you're coming from. Remember where you're going to. So put your values in mind in order to battle your self-doubt. Know that, okay, you're the child of a king. You're the child of God. You are the ch Just know your values, okay? Just know that you can do this. You have no reason. There's no reason why you can't do whatever it is you set your heart to or you set out to do. So try to remove that doubt. Because you are you are good enough, okay? Remember your values. Remember whose you are or remember who you are. Okay, guys, so that will be my second point. So my third point would be that you should try not to compare yourself to other people. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Because the more you compare yourself to people, the more unhappy you'll be. And then you have even more doubt. You won't believe you can do great things. You won't believe you can do what you want to do because you feel like... Ah, that um, my friends that finished from school the same year with me, they are now presidents of one country somewhere, but I can't do that, I can't do this. You start comparing yourself to people and then you you just have low self-esteem for no reason because there's no reason why you can't achieve what every other person is achieving if you set your heart to it and set your mind to it, okay? So, guys, just try not to compare yourself with anybody. My next point would be that you should find activities that provide a sense of accomplishment, okay? Find things that make you feel like, okay, you've achieved something, like you've achieved something. So activities that will make you happy, that will make you feel fulfilled. True activities that would, you know, that would challenge you mentally, physically, you know, just try to do things like that. So it will help you know that, okay, it will give you this courage that, wow, I can do this. I'm worth something. I can do this. I can do anything I set my heart to or my mind to. So that's another way you can go. So my last point would be that I should, you know, spend time with positive and supportive people. Be around people that will pull you up rather than the ones that will draw you down. So because if you want to improve your self-esteem and if you want to like get rid of your doubts, you need to be around the right people because the wrong people will just destroy your all of your morale. They'll just scatter everything, okay? So just try to be around positive people, people that understand the kinds of things you want to do, your vision. Those are the kinds of people you should surround yourself with. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped somebody. I hope it has blessed somebody. Thank you for your support. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Bye.